I'm sorry, Holly. I know you really want to do this challenge, and I, and I was trying to be positive. I just, I can't stay here. There's no I don't want to die. Why did you want to do this again? What was, what's your motivation? On the southern tip of the Appalachians is Sand Mountain, Georgia. One of only four temperate rainforests in the United States, it gets pounded by 66 inches of rain per year. I think I'm most nervous about trying to sleep in a wet and cold situation, and then we're gonna have to really be on the lookout for poisonous snakes. Sand Mountain's rocky terrain is home to nine kinds of venomous snakes, including copperheads and rattlesnake. There's, there's a lot of thoughts going through my mind. Excited, nervous, anxious, everything all wrapped up into one. It's, it's a lot of emotions to process right now. Growing up in Iowa, I've always been around hunting with traps, with snares, fishing. Did a lot of camping trips. One of my favorite things to do is make my own tree house or my own shelter or my own lean-to. In high school, went without drinking alcohol when everybody else started drinking, got to college, went abstinence for sex for almost two years because the more you can push yourself and stress yourself, the more you can grow and understand yourself. You know, coming in here, ultimately, it's just gonna be a mental game. And mentally, I think I can fight through anything. My name is Holly, I'm from McCall, Idaho, and I'm an environmental educator. This environment's really different from where I live. It's a lot denser, a lot wetter, really wet. <laughs> I'd describe myself as just a, a regular old mountain man. Any opportunity that I can to be outside, I'll take it. Where I live, it gets below zero pretty often, like negative 20s, six feet of snow. So I'm like extreme weather acclimated, really good at fire building. Here we are, game on. <laughs> I don't like the idea of, of tapping out in any regard. If my partner doesn't make it, I have the fortitude to make it through on my own. I am confident I'm going to survive this challenge. I'm definitely feeling nervous about being naked in front of a stranger. I'm just going to do my best to uh, keep my eyes in appropriate spots. But I think I might throw up. Maybe. A little bit. A little bit of throw up. <laughs> All right. Let's do this thing. Georgia, here I come. Oh, <laughs> naked man. <laughs> Jake. Jake, I'm Holly. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> He's pretty cute. So, um, won't be bad to look at. Tell me about your skills. My skill set. So, really know about a lot of woodworking, crafting, so stuff like that. Nice. About you. Those are actually my weak points. So okay. that's awesome. Perfect. I'm um, really good with fire. <laughs> so we will be the yin and Sounds yang. Sounds like we're gonna yes. mesh well. I agree. That's exciting. I agree. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, let's hit it. All right, let's go. After meeting my partner, I'll tell you, the 21 days seem extremely doable. She's very energetic, she seems ready to go. I think we can make this a really good situation. Um, are you married, kids? I am not married, and I do not have kids, but I've been with my girlfriend, Rebecca, for almost two years now, so. Nice. It's a long time. Yeah, I'm gonna miss her. She's definitely my best friend, so it's gonna be hard not to say, hey, guess what we did today? Right. Definitely don't want to drink this water without purifying it, but. Right. I think this is it. Oh, the, the bend to the left? Yeah. We gotta find a place to put up camp. Holly, right over there to your right. Nice, barren, oh, quiet hey, look open at that. area. Yeah, that's looking good. I think that is a great spot. Set up camp, we got fire started, and great partner, knowledgeable, resourceful. This is a picture perfect, great start. Feeling awesome about our first day. Pretty successful so far. So, see how the nighttime goes. Last night was much harder than what I expected. 
the agony of sitting there for nine, 10 hours, soaking wet, shivering, I realized that I had no control over anything. And my expectations of coming in here and just kicking and taking names went out the window. We're freezing, we're soaking wet. Our structure is flooded. Um, I'm actually sitting in water right now. In wet conditions, hypothermia can begin to set in even in 60 degree weather. Even if the rain lets up a little bit, we're completely soaking wet. I just don't want to get like hyperthermia or just have to sit here shivering cold and wet all night. I'm sorry, Holly. I know you really want to do this challenge, and I, and I was trying to be positive. I just I can't stay here. There's no way. I don't want to die. Why do you want to do this again? What's your motivation? You are a tougher person. Dude, you've done so much. You helped me build the shelter. You built a fire. You're a tougher person. Trust me. I don't want to do this on my own. Can you just try to stay till the morning? Literally last night was the worst night I've ever had in my entire life. Mm. I think the hard stuff makes us who we are, you know? How much did you grow when your life was easy? I mean, I agree with you. There is a certain triumph and, and struggle, but at the same time, it's like you gotta enjoy the process and everything. I miss my girlfriend more than anything. I'm filled with regret for leaving her. I don't like being uncomfortable. I don't like people watching me try something if there's a possibility I'm gonna fail. Everything in me is just saying, like, go home. There's so much more comfort, so much more security. Very committed to finishing the 21 days and, like, I don't want to be alone. I am putting so much effort right now into helping him maintain an emotional state. I'm trying to convince him to stay because, you know, I need him. I need the team. To get up and get moving a little bit, you'll feel better, Kim. Yeah, for sure. And I think ultimately, seeing how much this means to her and how much it would just destroy her for me to walk away, it's like, I might as well hang in there as much as I can. Oh. Should we uh, maybe try to find some breakfast? Yeah, let's check out that pond. I came in here thinking that having survival skills was what makes or breaks you, but really it's just like mental toughness. What's you say? Jake. One bite from a cottonmouth snake releases enough hemotoxic venom to kill a human. That is a meaty young guy. There, you see its head? Its head's right there. To the right, to the right, there's the head. Got it, good. Well, get it, hold it down. You got it, good. Good, good. hold it, hold it. Hold it. Got it. Got it. Hell yeah. Yes, Holly. Good eyes. Head is off. Thank you, Snake. <laughs> Thank you for sleeping right here, Snake. OK, breakfast? Let's do it. Teamwork for the win. Snake breakfast. I know it's Snake, but in my mind, I'm hearing two pieces of bacon hitting a hot pan. Oh my god, don't talk about bacon. <laughs> After such a rough night, this was just a blessing. It was so amazing. I feel a little more confident, feel a little more focused. I need to step up and be a team player. Good ball. I'm in it to win it now. Garçon, another bottle of red, please. <laughs> there you go. I'm talking to her and spending time with her and just like missing her. It's just crazy, man. Like I. It took me so long to fall in love with her, and then I like struggled falling in love with her because, like, I mean, she's just like, I'm just so emotionally connected to her. It was just weird. And I was like, kept fighting it. I'm like, this doesn't seem it's too good to be true. I don't like this, you know? Mom, <laughs> it's just funny to have this conversation with you sitting here and chewing on a snake skill. <laughs>
the rain has stopped. So today's focus will be the uh, structure. Rebuild it, make it flatter, put more moss on, put these sticks close together. The rain's the biggest hurdle because it prevents us from sleeping. And if you're not sleeping well, everything else goes to <laughs> I found chanterelles. Oh my god. There's so many. <laughs> There's only like four or five that I can positively ID and tell you that they're safe to eat, but it's enough. I accidentally found more food. <laughs> So I'm moving these rocks, I'm seeing something kind of shiny, and I think, check this guy out. Wow. I mean, I, I think this is a big chunk of coal. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look at that break off. That's, that's gotta be cool. That's a big win. The limestone cliffs and rocks in the area contain veins of compressed organic matter, which over hundreds of millions of years have turned into coal because it is denser than wood coal will burn much longer. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch over here. We are kind of struggling for firewood right now. So if we have this coal, it's just a, it's an alternate resource and it'll make it easier for us to stay warm. Yes, coal. Chanterelles. What are those for? This is edible mushroom. And I've got some coal. Dude, that is sick. <laughs> Tonight we are dining on one of the most sought after mushrooms in the world. Remember the number one rule when you are eating wild mushrooms is to never eat anything that is not cooked. Really good. This is really good. Yeah. <laughs> you can only imagine it with yeah. butter and garlic. Yeah, they're a delicacy. They're very expensive. We make a good team. We both work hard. We both do what we need to do to help each other out. Good huh? Not good, huh? <laughs> that is incredible. It is coming down, it's been coming down for a few minutes now. But uh, we only have like maybe half a dozen drops, nothing really coming through heavy. You really brought your A game with the structure. Fire looks good. It cools awesome. It burns super hot. It smells like gasoline at first, but is not going down. I'm pretty content with it. I mean, considering how much it's raining. I feel really good. I love your mushrooms. They're good and all, but yeah. Not a whole lot of substance to them. Yeah, not a lot. Figure you can go look around in the area for something else to eat besides mushrooms. Get some protein, hopefully. Hopefully we find something. I think I see something up here. It's an armadillo. Come on, Holly, let's do this. Keep tracking it. It went under the rock. Come on. Oh my God, it's so hard. You see it? It's going right. Got it. Oh my God, that was such work. Pull it back, pull it back. All right, watch out. I got him. Oh my God, it's so hard. I got him. Man, <laughs> this is insane. Is this your first time eating armadillo? Yeah, they've been known to carry leprosy. Chicken has salmonella, can't you cook it out? Yeah, right. there's chicken houses and pork and salmonella and chicken. Okay. And that can just be cooked out, so maybe if we just cook it really thoroughly. All right. While some armadillos can carry leprosy, cooking the meat to an internal temperature of 160 degrees will make it safe to eat. We've been cooking this thing for a long time and we actually ended up taking it out of the shell completely. It smells amazing. Juicy. See the fat and oils dripping off of them. Kind of tastes like smoked ham. Incredible. Such a good gift. Such a great day. Awesome. Yeah, down the hatch.
Get it, girl. Mm. That's so good. Sun's coming up and we made it through the night. You sleep? No. Me either. Scary sounds. Definitely hear some <laughs> wild animals out here. It's rise and shine. Get the out. Goodbye, sweet, sweet little friend. Dude, you did such a good job. I have dreams of it. Vamanos. So long. Dig in deep, girlfriend. Let's do this. Dig deep. Rocky rocks. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm so muddy. Ow, man, this sharp end. Sabrai. Ripping at my thighs. Nice. Just how I like it. I walked into this challenge as a person who experiences a lot of self doubt, but I'm gonna walk out of this challenge a complete badass. <sighs> Holy. What was that? What? It sounded like something big. Hopefully, it was just a tree. Keep going up to the right. Seems to be the safest. I think this is the cliff that was in the map. Yeah, that's looking right. That cliff separates us from the car. The heck of a climb. I think we can do it, though. Man, this is literally bear crawling this thing. This is uh, it's pretty steep here, Holly. Oh, my god. Holly! Oh, going <laughs> Dawson. <laughs> Yes. I'm dizzy, but that's amazing. Oh, God. Made it up. Oh, we made it up to somewhere near the top. Let's go. Oh, I see it. Yes. I see it I hear things. Yes. Oh, my God. It's a badass Woo. truck. <laughs> did it. I did it. Yes. Honestly, that's the most beautiful truck I've ever seen. Oh, my God. So oh, my God. We're moving. Great day. I feel absolutely amazing. Holly is everything to me, man. Without her, we would have gone almost nine days without food. She was an ultimate team player. I feel like I can take charge and not have to second guess myself all the time. I've overcome probably one of the most difficult 21 days anybody can do. It makes it a lot harder for me to doubt myself because I can look back and say, no, you're not worthless. You've done all these things. I've had some amazing realizations since I've been here about who I want to be, what I want to do, who I want to do it with. So probably the very first thing I do after I get home is propose to my girlfriend, who we've been together for almost two years now. And I'm just extremely excited to have the love of my life be with me forever and experience all these types of joys together. Yeah, baby! Woo! We did it! You were like saving grace through that whole challenge. The only thing I thought about was you. I realized that, like, my everything, I want to spend the rest of my life with you, you know? So that's why I was thinking that maybe. Oh, my god. You want marry me? Oh, my god. Hey, try it on. Oh, god. I didn't officially hear it. Yes. Oh, god. I love you.